Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? I literally just made a video not too long ago talking about how YouTube cannot protect Sniper Wolf. And uh, so we have a couple updates that I wanted to give. So first of all, this one being that Sniper Wolf, Sniper Wolf decided she wanted to apologize. So we can say that. Let me start by saying I'm sorry for my recent actions. It is inexcusable. I'm sorry to Jax Films, YouTube, the entire creator community, and my incredible fans for not being a better example for uh, appropriate conflict resolution. Jack's film, while, certainly, while we certainly don't see eye to eye and have our differences, I am sorry for reacting the way I did. I should have taken the opportunity to show young creators how adults and professionals resolve conflict by communicating directly, respectfully, and privately. Not for views <clears throat> or content, but a meaningful example of how conflict should be better resolved. I will reach out directly and hope we can find some time to connect and communicate respectfully. I'd also like to thank you two for holding me accountable. I deserve and respect the decision and appreciate the opportunity to learn and grow from a lapse in judgment. So she's pretty much talking about how YouTube says that they confirm that Sniper Wolf has received temporary temporary monetization suspension per uh, creator responsible so responsibility policies off platform actions that put others' personal safety at risk on the harm our community in the behavior on both sides isn't what we want on YouTube. Hoping everyone helps move this combo to a better place. That's it. She only gets demonetized temporarily. Jesus Christ, YouTube. I thought my expectations couldn't be any lower, but here we are. Wow, you really got her there taking away one paycheck for some one with 34 million subscribers as a punishment. So let me say this, man. Shout out to Dextro. That's how I found out about this. I was reading this article and that's how I found out. So let me say this, guys. <clears throat> I just did a whole lot of talking about this. I want to say I said before that I found YouTube I found YouTube uh, a coward about what they did. I found YouTube a coward for what not doing anything. And I said, you don't do anything. You don't demonetize her. Nothing. All she gets is nothing. Uh, it, it just sets a terrible precedent. So let me say this. Temporarily demonetizing her is still a problem for me. Temporarily demonetizing her is still a problem to me. Because you don't temporarily do this. You demonetize her forever. She can never see another cent from this platform. Because it is so. Here's my thing about this. It is so dangerous what she did that just taking a paycheck from her or two paychecks, that's not the point. You're missing the YouTube. You're missing the point. If this had been anybody else, we would never hear or see from them again. And your best thing is to temporarily demonetize her. I know that's what I said, but when I said demonetization, I meant forever. She'll never see another dime from this platform. She can make as much content and do what she wants to. But no, and I, and I never for taking somebody's money, but not when you put somebody's face and address to where they have to now move, they have to move from where they live. And you, it's not like you just put it, you did it secretly in some little group. You did it in front of 5 million people. You are in front of his house. You are being disgusting. Now this person has to move. Now this person still has to go somewhere. They have to take all of their hard earned money and now find somewhere else for them to live and pray to God that somebody doesn't find out where they live because of Sniper or they never get into another conflict. It sets a bad precedent because Jack's film is a big YouTuber, right? But what is, you know, it says a bad thing because what if it's anybody on the planet? If somebody criticizes me and I say, you know what, I'm going to find out where they live. And then, boom, show up to wherever they live and start taking pictures and be like, hey, guys, hey, I found out where she lives. Now let's talk about this like adults. People, people are too deranged for you to do something like that. And I want to say shout out to Swell Entertainment because she made a video on this. I didn't watch the whole thing, but she did make one good point that I was noticing. Sniper. You're a woman who has probably had many people want to find out where you live or they know where you live and you could sometimes be scared for your life. You can't walk outside. This man, Jack's film, can't walk outside his house now. You understand that, right? Every day he leaves the house, he's got to be worried because he can't leave the house unattended. He can't leave, the, even if he's got security camera and stuff like that. It's one thing if you're doing that because somebody might find out where you live. But it's a completely different story when 5 million people find out where you live. 
Right, where you, you, she's live streaming. She's showing this stuff. It's, she puts up a whole picture for the whole world to see. You know, as far as we know, it's not circulating. But dang it, there's so many people who already saw it. So anytime he just walks out the house, anytime he does anything, he's got to be scared for his life. Every day over this man, you're so butthurt. She was so butthurt from him saying, hey, Sniper, can you just call out the creators? Hey, Sniper, can you just give some kind of something? Hey, 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 sniper! Can you just let somebody make a little bit of little, little bit of coin? Can you just let them know? I get it. I'm not a big fan of reaction channels, and even me myself. Somebody's called me out before and said I don't give, I haven't given up uh, the right proper thing, and normally I always do, right? I always shout out whoever I'm reacting to or whatever um, dash cams or cop cams or whatever. I normally always say this is who this is. But one time I didn't. And somebody called me out. And even I had to get in the comment section and apologize and say, you know what? You're right. I got to always do that. But no, I'm definitely not going to show up to the person's house and try to figure out where they live and get into all my stuff and be like, hey, you know what? If I ever find out where you live, it's on site. Let's talk about this like adults. I'm outside your house. How stupid would that look? Somebody says, Trey, can you uh, please... Uh, um, talk, uh, you know, credit the creators. Nope. <laughs> if I find out where you live, we're going to talk about this like adults. And then when I find out where you live, I just immediately put all your stuff online. That's crazy to me. I'd be gone. There'd be no more. There'd be no temporary monetization. I'm gone. And the fact that YouTube said, I hope, this, I'm hoping everyone helps move this convo to a better place. What the fuck are y'all talking about? Move this to a better place. We're talking about people's lives being in danger. This is, like I said, it's not like this is some random YouTube. This is a man's face who's plastered everywhere. People know who Jack's film is, and they know who Sniper is. Sniper is. So even the people who watch Jack films who didn't like him now knows where he lives. And the people who watch Sniper who don't like Jack's film knows where he lives. He is not you, Sniper. He's not sitting in some $9 million mansion and where he's just good to go for the rest of his days. I know even you get scared, Sniper, because you can't leave the house because people know your face. Now, more people know his face and where he lives, or at least where city he lives in. For sure they know where he lives. For sure they know where he lives. They all, it does not take much to put two and two together to figure out where this man's house is. Once they find it, it's on. And so for temporary monetization loss, like, what is that? What are we, what are we talking about? I can't believe YouTube said this. And I'm not, I'm not even going to take back what I said. Because before I said they were cowards, but if you didn't say something like, I'm hoping everyone can move this combo to a better place. What do you mean a fucking, what better place can we move it? We said it was dangerous. What's the better place? What's the better place? The better place is you doing your damn job. You put all this stuff in your policy that we all got to follow to some degree, except I guess if you're one of YouTube's little pets, I guess. But the rest of us have to follow the damn thing. You know, has she built that much trust with y'all that she can dox people? Is, is it that? Is it that? Is it that's where we are? How can you trust a YouTube content creator who would do something like that? Like, it doesn't matter what trust. No matter how much trust I have in somebody. If they were ever to dox my, if I was best friends with somebody and they ever showed where my parents live to everyone on the internet and because they had a beef with me, I don't care how long we've known each other. I don't care if I've known you for 20 years. We are done. There's no conversation to be had. You show where my parents live? And if it was me and you and we were best friends, you show where I live, where my kids live? My kids ain't got nothing to do. My wife and kids ain't got nothing to do with me and you. And you show them where they live? And now they got to be scared for their life. My wife has to be scared every day. Now she's worried about my job because I make I make, I make content. Now she got to be worried about people finding out where we live. She ain't got nothing to do with this. I try to keep her out of it as much as I can. And now you're going to dox me? If you were my best friend, we're done. There ain't no conversation to be had. Ain't no, uh, you know what, dog? I know I was, even if you work for me. Oh, you know what, dog? I'm just going to go ahead and suspend you, man. Um. I'm not going to pay you for at least two months and maybe we can get back. And no, you'll never work for me another day in your life. Never. I will never pay you anything. You'll get what you were owed and that's it. Goodbye. Don't speak to me. Don't talk to me. Our, our relationship is done. You dox my fucking family. I'm not going to suspend you. You're done. Don't ever come back to my home. Don't ever talk to me again. Now I got to figure out what the hell I got to do with my family. Because you didn't show my house to 5 million people. And that 5 million people showed my house to 5 million people. And that 5 million people showed that my house to 5 million people. So just because Sniper showed it to a few people, those people showed it to other people. You don't know how exponentially big that could have gotten. Now everybody knows where the fuck I live.
Because you because you had a little beef with me because I called you out. There's so many people who call out people every damn day. They make 30, 40 videos. I don't care how obnoxious this man was. He, I've watched his videos, and he ain't never said nothing that wild. He's just like, Sniper, can you just give him something? And then he's like, this, this, this is reaction. You're making all this money stealing people's content, and all you can say is, wow. You can at least provide some commentary like, wow, this person didn't agree. Let me tell you a story about one time I did this. Add something. I mean, fuck. But you're just making me You're not doing anything, Sniper. People are literally just watching you to watch other people. That's disgusting to me. You're making all this money because other people are providing your content. I get reacting. That's fine. And I get making commentary. That's fine. But you're making tons of money. You're not even saying anything. You're just saying, wow. If I uploaded a whole video on a YouTube channel and I said, wow, and that's it? And I got millions of views off that because it's me? That's the thing, Sniper, is people get millions of, face millions of views because it's you. You. Kids are watching you to watch other content creators and not even know who they are. Can't even go, hey, let me go watch that person. That, that was kind of funny. You don't do anything, Sniper. Nothing. It's an absolute clown. YouTube, you still didn't do anything well. You're probably going to give her money back in, what, a month? Maybe two? Temporarily suspending her and demonetizing? You're disgusting. You're disgusting, YouTube. And you set a disgusting precedent that if they're your little pet... They can do whatever the fuck they want. And that's, that's the game we're going to play. Fine, YouTube. You're the big daddy. You're whatever. You okay? Have it is. Post, you know, uh, have your damn chest out. Run the whole damn world. Let people get doxxed. But when it gets crazy and things really get out of hand and something happens to somebody, I don't want to hear a fucking word from what y'all guys have to say. I don't want y'all saying, oh, I can't believe this shit happened. You had t a chance to do this before and set a great precedent and you decided to temporarily just demonetize somebody. You're fucking joking. You're disgusting. Okay. And that's what that's always going to mean. So, you know what? Now I know as a content creator, my life is always going to be in jeopardy because it's just going to take somebody who doesn't like me, who happens to be just famous famous enough who just one day decides you know what i don't really like trey like that and i'm gone if i ever get big enough on youtube it's not even gonna matter because i know now i know the, the more faces i see on youtube when it's supposed to be a day of celebration a time of yes now i'm i'm moving up on youtube i'm getting more faces this is great now i'm more scared because the more people i get on here it's like ah there's a chance somebody could dox me and if the wrong person doxes me and youtube just happens to love them enough my whole life's over. My whole family's life is in danger. I got a damn near go faceless on this bitch. Whatever, man. That's how I feel. YouTube, you're still cowards. You're still disgusting. If you don't do anything better past this, then you set a terrible precedent. You're going to make every content creator scared for their life to even get one subscriber on here because it just takes one person to dox them that y'all happen to like and they just get their money taken away. Congratulations, YouTube. You fucked up.